We were, we were talking about Jenny Mack before we went to commercial, and it's interesting because of all the talents you have and all the uh, wonderful things about you, her favorite thing is your ass. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what I read. That's, that's what I read. I she think says you have a great ass, that's the quote. And, and my smile, and my, my award-winning smile. She didn't say nothing about the smile in the article I read. <laughs> she talked about your ass. <laughs> it's, it's plump, Arsenio. It's very high. It's very okay. high. We, okay. have, we have that in common. Yeah, yeah. yes, we, we do. We got <laughs> yes. It's like Earth, Wind, and Fire, so keep your <laughs> to the sky. We got... <laughs> Listen, when, when, you, when you're nine years old, they tease you for them high butts. But when you get a little older, you give them something to hold on to. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's talk blue. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a wonderful, successful cop show. And you are Mr. Boston, yet this thing is based in New York. How hard is that? Whew, it's uh, it's a lot of fun, mm -hmm. but they they get me, man, in New really? York. Yeah, oh yeah. I, every t every day I'm shooting on the streets. There's nothing like shooting on the streets in New York, especially playing a cop, because we work really hard to 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 represent the cops the right way in New York, and they're they're incredible policemen and women. And uh, but the people walking down the streets, I mean, they tease me every day. Red Sox suck, and <laughs> Celtics suck, and Patriots suck, but we got the World Series, so yes. So I've had I've had a great time the last few weeks letting them have it at work and walking around with my Red Sox hat on. It's been fun. Yeah, you know I I tweeted you um, after the bombing, mm -hmm. and um, I wondered what was that like and where were you on that day? Uh, I was ironically I was on the set of Blue Bloods. We were shooting the family dinner scene, which is sort of the signature part of Blue Bloods. And um, you know one of the crew members came up and said, uh, Hey you should call home and make sure everything's okay in Boston. And mm -hmm. I was like, uh, why? And they were like, well, something happened at the marathon. I was like, oh, okay. I just figured it might have been a pipe burst or something. I really didn't think much about it. And then another crew member and another crew member, and they had this serious look in their eyes. And it occurred to me, they're New Yorkers. And the, the only people in this country, maybe other than Atlanta during the Olympics with that bombing, that have really been through a terrorist act like this are New Yorkers. And they had a look in their eyes that they knew something serious was happening. And uh, they said, let's just stop shooting and get on the phone and call Boston. And when I called, I realized how serious it was. And uh, I mean, just to see something like that on American soil is tough enough. But to see it, you know, I, I mean, I went to theater class in high school right where that first bomb went off. And I mean, th 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 those are streets that I made my bones there, you know what I mean? It's like to see that happen in my city was just devastating. And, um, but I have to say, equally as um, momentous is the way people responded to it. I mean, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Not only the policemen and women and the emergency service and the firemen, but regular citizens. I mean, that city rose up from a really horrific situation and um, it's never been stronger than it is right now. Yeah. I'm just so proud to be a Bostonian. Uh, it's just an amazing city. Yes. Um, I, I, uh, I live in LA, I was born in Cleveland, but there was a unique kind of love that I had after the World Series. And I think everybody had to feel good for Boston. Yeah, I think everybody did. And um, it's, it's a beautiful thing. You know, Boston is a tough city. I mean, look, it is a tough country. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've, uh, people forget America is a young country compared to, you know, countries in the Middle East or Asia and stuff that are, Africa have been around for thousands and thousands of years. I mean, we're just babies. And mm -hmm. we've come a long way in a really short time. But, you know, people do forget. It is a lot, of, it's a lot of stuff still lingers and a lot of wounds still linger from my childhood in Boston when they integrated the schools with busing and stuff. But I could say, if I was and put on buses and sent from a white neighborhood to a black neighborhood, I wouldn't be sitting on this couch. I would not have had the life I had. I would not have had the career I had. I mean, that those times gave Boston a very racist reputation, mm -hmm. but they made what Boston is now. Though we survived those times and we've come a, become a stronger and better city because of it. So, you know, it, it put a, a scar on us and a mark on us, but believe me, it's, it's made us better in the long run. Yeah. We're a very proud city. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for, uh, yes. Um, Thank you for being here. And I'm going to say one quick thing before you go, and I'm not even going to give you a chance to respond. I would love, once again, to have new kids in my house. Be sure to check out Blue Blood Fridays at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. Central on CBS. Let them know that I really want new kids in my house.